Good morning, guys, from Jefferson City, Missouri. Well, the country, anyway. As you can see, country as far as you can see. No city around us here at all. If you guys saw yesterday's video, you guys know that we are in Jeff City, hanging out with Angie's very best friend, um, Sam, and her husband and her family. And uh, actually, Angie and Sam um, are at the pool, and uh, Brad and... Cody are out working and I had a bunch of work to do today so I just stayed at the house got a lot of people let in our support bikers groups because I hadn't done it in a couple days and we literally had hundreds to let in each group so it took um, well I don't know it's like three o'clock now I think um, it has taken me from like eight o'clock this morning until 350 this afternoon to get that all done but I got it all done and so I was thinking about today's video subject and um, I posted up a video oh yeah, yeah I post up all these different videos right and I get all these different like I see like trends and stuff and comments and all um, you know one of the trends I get is you know Harley Davidson isn't even American made anymore and so I decided I would start doing a little research on what is considered um, made in the made in America. And so from all of what I can figure out is basically a product has to have 50 percent um, American made like for Harley needs 50 percent American made parts in order to be considered made in America. So if it has 51% American made parts, it is considered made in America. So the question is, is Harley made in America, right? I can't, I can't confirm or deny that anywhere that I have searched. I mean, if you guys know where I can find that information, I would love to. But, um, you know, I don't know that there's any kind of car, motorcycle, anything like that, that is 100% made in America. I just don't think it exists anymore. And uh, the reason that I don't think it exists is because um, I don't know that the USA has the capacity to build all of these products anymore. I don't know that we have the workers, the experience, the factories, the equipment, um, the supplies. I don't know that we have any of that or the actual ability to um, build all the parts it would take to put a Harley Davidson together or a Ford or a Chevy or any of those. So I, I think the times of us being able to do that are, are long gone. So how important is Made in America to you? Like when I look for parts, I look for Made in America, but a lot of times like um, You'll be looking for a part and they just, there is no made in America version of that part. They're made in some other country. So how do you choose your part once you figure out that, hey, there's no made in America option? Do you look at warranty? Do you look at the company? Maybe it's an American company selling a foreign product. Because uh, I mean, that's one thing about Harley that, you know, that I love and always will. They'll, they're an American company. Right. Um, they have hired. They have provided Americans jobs since 1903, um, and uh, they've been through a couple of wars with us. I mean, you know, there's a big, long, rich history there. So um, yes, uh, they are a global company. Um, they manufacture bikes in other countries. They they put them. They manufacture bikes here in the states, um, and uh, you know, they're they're just not. 100% American made anymore and I wonder if that is a factor um, when you guys purchase your motorcycles now do you look at Indian and Harley as the American made companies and you choose one of those two companies because they're an American company um, or do you choose um, for other reasons I'd love to know down in the comments what you use um, as a choosing mechanism. Is it price based? Is it dealership network based? I mean, for me, one of the biggest purchase reasons for me is that dealership network. But Angie and I travel all over the country. So the fact that Harley has a dealership in almost every town um, is a pretty big deal. 
we can access parts pretty easily. We can access dealerships. Most of them are open, you know, six to seven days a week. Um, I had somebody talking about a Honda with me the other day, and I was like, the problem I see with Honda is that um, their dealership network is a lot weaker. And most of their dealerships are only open five days a week. Uh, they're usually closed like Sunday and Monday. And if you travel cross country, that's not great. The other thing is like all these little independent shops, everyone I've ever been to doesn't have a whole lot of Honda parts in stock. Most all of them have Harley stuff, all the, the general stuff you need, um, tires, brakes, you know, that type of stuff. They have that stuff all in stock. And a lot of times they don't have any of that stuff in stock. Um, for a Honda or a Yamaha or a less popular motorcycle. So, you know, what are those factors? Do you guys have any other factors that you consider besides, like, I love the look of that bike. It's a Harley Davidson. It's an Indian. Um, I like the performance. Do you have factors outside of that that also affect um, your purchasing? Uh, like I said, like dealer network. Um, maybe some of the extra things that they have. You know, Harley-Davidson has Hog. Um, they have their app, right? Um, they have, uh, you know, and other, other, what I want to say, other like companies and like events and all have all these stuff to cater to the Harley-Davidson crowd. So um, is that a factor in your purchase? Uh, I'm, I'm really curious to hear what all of you guys um, use as like your factors when you're buying a, a motorcycle. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, if any of you guys know when the last time uh, the Harley was actually considered made in America and not just assembled in America. The closest I can find is like 2011. Um, I think 2011, they said since 2011, a lot more of the parts have become outsourced. Um, and so before 2011, uh, a lot of more of them were American made. And so I, I can't get an affirmative um, that 2011 was the last year it was considered made in America. So if any of you guys know this information, I would love to know that. And then when do you think the last year that the Harley Davidson was completely made in America? Um, or any of the others, Ford, Chevy, I'm curious, when the last like year that everything was made in America for um, Harley, uh, Ford, Chevy, all those big American companies. Please, if you know, let me know in the comments. I've been doing some research on this. I'll probably do another video on it once I get all the information gathered. But right now I'm just gathering information and I need you guys' help. Um, because there's not, like I said, I've done some research. It's not like readily accessible. And I'm sure Harley's probably the big reason for that. They don't necessarily want people to, to know when that changed. But anywho, that's it. Uh, it looks like Brad and them are back. I'm going to go hang out with them. I'll edit this video and get it loaded up. But that's it. That is today's video. I know, pretty boring, but just stuff I wanted to know. Um, when you love motorcycles, you want to know as much about them as possible. Um, the different companies, the different brands, all that. So this is one of those. Uh, but anywho, I'm going to edit this, put it together, and we will see you tomorrow.